Zombie Wolf Magazine. We are here at NAM 2014 in Anaheim, California. It is day one, but for me, day two, and my wife is already exhausted. So she is not running the camera, I'm running the camera. I'm on this side of the camera, and I'm embarrassing myself in front of our first guest of the day. First guest of the day, right here. We are at Cole Clark. Now, Cole Clark, guitar company. It's NAM, musical instruments. Work with me on this. Okay, but here's the catch. You're from Melbourne, Australia. That's true. Australia, down under. Sorry. That's all right. Anyway. It's nice to be known for something. Well, yes. Good beer. Great beer. Great beer. Great guitars. Great guitars. Beautiful don't, you women. Don't, you don't drink heavily before making the guitars. No, but usually after. After. See, alcohol after guitars first. Know the difference. It takes a lot of responsibility to act this immature. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, came, came through here yesterday and saw you guys setting up. And I, I have to say, you are lovely guitars. Thank you. Now, number one, I'm a drummer. Mm -hmm. Drummer. Know nothing about guitars. I read the short bus. Anyway, tell us about your guitars. Okay, so um, the idea at Cole Clark is to give a great stage sound and an affordable price to stage musicians, you know. Uh, I think Cole Clark, for me, is about the other guy. You know the other guy? Mm -hmm. The other guy. The other guy. You the know, other guy. When your rock stars get on stage, they've got a $3 million sound system, three engineers, two guitar techs, and they're going to sound great. They're going to have a plank of wood, and it's going to sound great. Um, but the other guy, like me, I've got to go into a, a venue and plug into a PA that belongs in a museum and, and hope hope to God somehow I sound good and get a little bit of pride out of my performance. Cole Clark's about that, it's about giving a power back to the performer with a pickup system that's world leading, um, that, that sounds like the guitar you bought and makes you sound like the person you think you, you sound like in your mind. Um, all, all using uh, a different kind of build, a different kind of pickup system and completely different uh, timbers that are indigenous to Australia. Okay, so you're using wood for your guitar that's indigenous to Australia. Yeah. So let's go ahead and show this to the camera here. For example, this is um, this is an FL2 model, um, Bunya. This is a Bunya face, which is a indigenous Australian tree. It's 20% stronger than spruce. It's got a beautiful mid-range. It happens to suit our pickup beautifully. Uh, and a lot of people have them in their backyards in Australia. Uh, this is Queensland maple, which is completely different to what uh, people would consider maple uh, in the States. Uh, this is actually a maple silkwood. We also have we also have Tasmanian blackwood. Uh, which is a highly sought after timber. It's a, it's a beautiful round tone, really good tone wood. Um, we do, do build with a little bit of spruce, some Indian rosewood. Even right here we've got... This, follow me here because it gets, it gets confusing. <laughs> this is Indian rosewood. My fans know about confusing. They listen to me. This is American redwood but grown in Australia. So it's Australian American redwood. And then it does end up a little it's bit a, different. It's Australian for redwood. Exactly. <laughs> so, Australian Timbers. Now, the pickup system is the next really important thing, and that's, uh, you know, when you're playing a gig, you've got a subwoofer and a 15-inch speaker and a horn, and you're not expecting to plug your guitar into the back of one of those and get all the sounds you want. You need all three working together to hear frequencies they're best equipped to handle. Now, the pickup system in the Cole Clark is very similar to that. Uh, we've been expecting of our guitars to plug into a piezo unit for years and expect to have a natural sounding acoustic sound, but we don't. What we end up with is a piezo sound, which I can actually emulate here if I switch everything else off. You'll get that, there's that unnatural robotic sound that we've come to hear as what this acoustic guitar is supposed to sound like. I call it the quack. I think it's called the quack. Uh, so to eliminate that, the bottom end is fine from the pizos. Pizos are good. We got six liter load of pizos under here. But we're just going to hear the bottom end from these because that's all it's really best equipped to handle. It compresses the rest. So as I bring that in, you actually hear this. Now the whole guitar is completely amplified. So you've actually you've turned the entire guitar into a soundboard. That's the idea. And now everything over 350 hertz, which means any is, is heard from the face of the guitar. Anything below that that might feed back from the face sensor, it has absolutely no idea those frequencies exist and just outsources back to the back to the piezo again. And you find we lose that piezo now. So it has a warmer sound to it. More natural. An acoustic guitar, I think, should sound 
like that when it's plugged in, but louder. And, when, and, and, and I don't think it ever has until I found these guitars. And, and the third element is a condenser microphone. If people hear the word microphone in guitar, instantly run a mile, because they're certain it's going to feed back. But again, with digital shelving, we tell this microphone it can't hear any frequency below 1.25K. So we're talking your extreme highs. All we want to do is take that little ping out from underneath the notes on the high end. Now, now, follow me on this. Kind of makes sense. So by taking out that really high end, hissy, pingy, quack, mm -hmm. you're just left with the mid range and the low tones, more natural sound, you get the mellow sound of the wood. Absolutely. But I, I just looking at this, mm -hmm. this isn't like just on there. It looks like you've got inlays in here. This is a really nice piece right That's here. Right. This is not slap joint thrown together, imported. No. Imported piece of crap. No. It's really well done. It's somewhere, we, I mean, we like to think we do 4,000 guitars a year, and we like to think we're somewhere between mass production, but. Listen to that number again and think about it. Large manufacturing companies make thousands of guitars a week. How many guitars? About 4,000 a year. 4,000 a year, which means that even though they have an extensive line of guitars, sorry, extensive line of guitars, it's actually more of a very large scale boutique, private, reserve sense, but average price point? Uh, around $2,000, $2,500 is, would be the average. So for the series musician, still very affordable. Affordable. Not a lot of money, a lot of quality. And everything is a solid timber, and everything's got that pickup system in it. So you kind of you kind of get less bling as you go cheaper, but uh, <laughs> and that's about it. You know, we do. I mean, at this point, they range from sort of sixteen hundred American dollars to close to six thousand. We have a, a guitar over there that's made of Huon pine, which is a very rare, um, very protected timber from Tasmania. That um, you can, this has literally fallen down in nineteen seventy two into a lake, and they found it. Uh, recently, wow. that have been under there for that long, and to get your hands on on Kieran Pine is is quite a big deal in Australia. We found this stuff. This is three thousand year old timber, uh, so we've been making a few somewhat expensive guitars out of that. All the binding is done by hand. It's not a line. This is actually um, planted rosewood, crushed abalone. Um, the real deal, as far as I'm concerned. I, now, I, I do, do you I'm, have U.S. distributorship? You we have... certainly do. Jamie Gale Music. Uh, we've got distribution in, I think, uh, about 20 countries around the world now. So, well, where, so, where can they get your guitars? You said the best place to go is to coldplayguitars.com. So you can get it online at their website. And all of our distributors and stores are listed there. All right. So you go to their website, coldclock.com. Guitars. Can you? I want you guys to see this. This is really cool. <laughs> I'll let you out and I'll let one for a second. Goodbye! I, I don't claim to be able to play this. I don't claim to be able to play this thing, it's just a lot of fun. You gotta you gotta see the look of this. This is like really out of frame here. You gotta see this guitar. It's called the Violap. What is it? It's got two outputs, one for acoustic pickup, one for the humbuckers. So you run one to the amp for your dirty tone and one for your acoustic tone. So there's your acoustic tone there. And then you bring, you've got your amp here. There's your dirt. You blend them in two together. Like I said, I don't know how to play this thing. Um, people tend to gather around when you pull it out, <laughs> thinking something special is about to happen, and I can, cannot play it. Right. So. That, that's it, that's the extent of it. <laughs> so it's kind of like a steel lap guitar when you do that. Yeah. But you can also just use it when you band and just have the dirt sound. Or you can just have your clean sound if you're doing a your solo show. Burger with the lot, we call it. So if you buy this guitar right here, 
you'll get about six or seven shades darker, immediately have a good love for deep down south, soul blues, and you lose everything except your self-respect. Instantly. <laughs> blues rock star, right there. There's your sales pitch. There's your sales pitch. Lose everything but your self-respect. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Lloyd, thanks a lot for being at zombiebs.com. Thank you. You can find more of this at his website. His website, hello, still listening? Okay, at his website, coleclark.com. And you'll get more of Nam from us. Bye.